Viviana and today so I happen to have these paper bags just sitting around you know for environmentally friendly reasons in case I need to put something in a little bag and we're not going to use plastic we're going to use paper bags you know and uh, Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. I want to blame this on the stay at home order as to why I am sitting here thinking about putting paper bags in my floor to try and create curls. However, is it your first time on this channel? 12 hours and 914 hairpins in my head. I'm going to be trying to use crayons to make hair gel. So for today's video, I'm going to be recoloring my hair. Not with regular hair dye, but with Kool-Aid. My wet hair might cause these paper bags to tear before they even get a chance to dry and produce some curls in my hair. But let's do it anyways. So I'm starting off these paper bag curls on freshly washed damp hair. And the only thing I have in my hair right now is my leave-in conditioner. So I think this is a big enough section, like medium sized sections. I think this would work. And as I go along each section, I'm going to re-wet my hair with some water, moisturize my hair with my curling cream, and one more thing, and detangle my hair. Darn it, I left out here. Try not to do that. Alright, so let's try this. And I'm gonna curl the hair away from my face because that's how I usually do it. Maybe an elastic? Let's try an elastic. I really was expecting the paper bag to burst open that elastic. Feels like it's holding. I feel like I did it. I feel like I just did something. All right, let's do the same thing to the other side and see if it was just double luck. <laughs> oh, did I tell you guys what size this paper bag is? Hold on. So these paper bags I bought from Amazon and a hundred came in the pack. 
and they are size 5.9 inches by 11.6 inches. So I'm using a full paper bag and I'm going to simply roll it. Roll it. And I want you guys to just take note of how I'm wrapping the hair around the paper bag. If you pay close attention, you'll see that I'm kind of twisting my wrist a bit while I'm wrapping the hair around the paper bag. And then when I'm folding over the paper bag, I try to ensure that my ends are neatly tucked between those folds. Yeah, I just think that's really important to take note of because you'll see at the end Hi! editing the hair so this is the part of the video where I would ask you guys to leave a comment down below if you got this far into the video without skipping things and I just realized I'm wearing a blue shirt and I'm wearing a blue shirt in the video that are editing right now um it's weeks after it's not the same blue shirt but for today i didn't want to just type out the question i wanted to come face to face and ask you guys what's the last song you listened to no matter how strange it is okay whatever the last song you listened to was let me know down below in the comment section because Basically, I want new music and I figured you can help. <laughs> okay, go back to the video. <sighs> Finally, the last one. Yeah, true. So, you know, this wasn't too hard to do. It really wasn't. But my only concern right now is the ends of my hair. It kind of just wedged in between the folds of the paper bags <laughs> to get your curls looking nice and neat from root to ends you want to always ensure that the ends of your hair are secure whenever you're doing your curly styles other than that your ends might turn out frizzy and the entire style just spoils So my hair should be completely dry by now. I've allowed it to air dry for over 24 hours. So yeah, it looks dry to me. Like if I just push it a little bit, it feels dry. And because I had my hair air drying for that long, of course I had to sleep with the paper bags in my hair. And uh, it wasn't terrible. I did get to sleep, but I just had to sleep like this because I'm a tummy sleeper. So I was like this most of the night or I had to take my pillow and kind of mold it <laughs> around my head so that it kind of feel a little comfortable to sleep on. But you know like when you sleep and you twist and you turn? Yeah, if I accidentally had moved my pillow and then I was just lying directly on my mattress, the paper bags were, you know, just pressing on my head. That wasn't too comfortable, okay? But other than that, it wasn't that bad. Or maybe I'm only saying that because I've experienced worse. I'm really excited for this though. I want to see if this works. Because it really wasn't hard to put these paper bags in my ear, you know, so... Yeah, I can still feel a little moisture right here. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit under the dryer for 
and next half an hour or so on high heat just to allow the hair to completely dry and then we'll pull out the hair I mean it's not like I'm going anywhere but I want to give this hairstyle a fair chance of turning out good so yeah I'm gonna let it dry properly under the hair dryer. Oh, I hope this hair is dry. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Bitch, this was worth it. <laughs> okay, beauties, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and love these results as much as I do. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and even better, share the video. If this is your first time on my channel and you haven't decided from this one video that you want to subscribe, Really? Really? I did all of this from paper bags during quarantine when I ain't going nowhere. And you have the nerve to come sit down through all of my video, enjoy it, and then not subscribe? Hmm. Okay. Here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave some more of my videos up in the archives so you can go watch more, get more familiar with my channel, and then if you sit down through two or three more of my videos, just accept that you enjoy the content here and subscribe. Okay, beauties, thanks again for watching. Later! Mwah.